All right, this video is about the name of Mashiach, the name of the Messiah. What is his name? There are many people out there that still do not know the proper name of Messiah. And we're going to take a look at that in this video. We're going to go off of what scripture says, not what we think or what we've been told. All right. Now, there are many names for Messiah. Some people call him Christ. Some call him Jesus. Others call him Yeshua. Some Yahshua. I mean, there are so many names for the Messiah. Some just refer to him as Lord, God. All of these names are wrong, believe it or not. And in the future, I plan on making a video about this, exposing all these false names. But for now, let's get the true and proper name prophesied according to Isaiah 714 all right this is the King James version as you see here on the screen and Isaiah 714 says that therefore the Almighty himself shall give you a sign behold a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and you shall call his name Jesus no wait a minute that's not what it says now does it it says Emmanuel that is the name that was prophesied in the Old Testament. Most people do not use this name. They toss it to the side and use the false name Jesus, which means the horse, or to command a horse, an animal, referring to the horses of the apocalypse, one of them being the Antichrist. That's whom Jesus is. Lord means Baal. God the short name for Lucifer, Gadriel, take a look at the book of Enoch. Uh, what's the other one? Yeshua, which is an acronym for may his name be blotted out in Hebrew. Something that the false Jews made up, concocted to fool people. Some say it's Yahshua. Why would he have Shua at the end of his name when Shua was the first wife of Judah, the Canaanite woman? Who gave him three wicked children. So we're going to take a look at this. We're going to examine all this because there's so much confusion out there. So let's get to the bottom of this. It's going to be a short video, quick and to the point. We're using scripture and we're going to use the strongest concordance. It's not that complicated, people, all right? Just follow me. All right, Isaiah 714 says that the virgin will bear a son and will call his name Emmanuel, not Jesus. All right, moving on. Next verse, or verses, I should say. The next verses are from Matthew chapter 1, verses 21 to 23, King James Version. It says that she, Mary, would bring forth a son and would call his name Jesus. Okay, here they have Jesus, all right? And then it says that he will save his people from their sins. So, Pay attention to this verse. The name Jesus is connected to what it says next. It has to do with salvation. So, therefore, this name has to mean or has to be associated with salvation, right? It says that he will save his people from their sins. That's why they would call him Jesus. But if you take a look at my videos on the name Jesus, you'll find out that the name Jesus either means earth pig or the horse. Jesus. So we know that they inserted this false name to have you worship the wrong Messiah. All right. Verse 22 takes us back to Isaiah and the verse we just read from that chapter in the book of Isaiah. It says, Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Almighty by the prophet. What prophet? Isaiah. He said or wrote, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is Yah with us. Emmanuel, Yah with us. All right? So there it is. It's not complicated. His name was prophesied to be Emmanuel. The name. Jesus, or the title Jesus, has to do with one of his descriptions. What, what was he to accomplish? Salvation. Oh, Jesus is not his name. 
All right, we're gonna take a look at this. All right, now let's take a look at the amplified version. The amplified version will simplify things a lot more than the King James perversion of the Bible because that's what it is. It was more pure back then than it is now, but the whole King James Bible is a distortion of the scriptures, basically. And most Bibles are, so you got to use what we're given. We've got to use what we have to work with. Don't run away from the other versions, all right? Okay, so what is this? This is Matthew chapter 1, verses 21 to 23, all right? Same verses we just read, but this is from the Amplified Bible version, all right? It says that, she, the Virgin Mary, would bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Okay, here it says that it is the Greek form of the Hebrew Joshua. So Jesus, according to what it says here, is a Greek version of a Hebrew name. So his name is in Hebrew, not Greek, Latin, or English. For all you viewers that want to debate this, all right? Period. That's what scripture says. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you call him. If it's not the right name, then you're going off, all right? And then it says here that the name Jesus, look what it means. Jesus is the Greek form of the Hebrew, the original name in Hebrew, Joshua, which means Savior. So does Jesus mean Savior? Of course not. Go watch my videos on the origins of the name Jesus, and you will see that the name Jesus in Hebrew does not mean Savior. It was inserted there. Neither Joshua is not the proper name either. That is the name of one of the Israelites. He has a book attributed to him in the Old Testament. That's not the name. So they're just playing games. They're, they're playing this wordplay. It's name play. They're just switching up the name, causing confusion. They don't want you to know the true name. But it's right there. Now, they can't leave us without nothing. But they'll make it very hard for us to understand what we're reading. So they'll, they'll, make it like, they'll turn things into like a puzzle, a Rubik's puzzle. And you got to watch out, you know. You got to look out for certain things. Be careful with this, that. So the more you're familiar with history, with the scriptures, the more you do research, you won't fall for these things stumbling blocks that they insert there. So Jesus does not mean salvation in Hebrew, okay? It has a different meaning. Joshua is not the name either. So Jesus must mean Savior, as it says there on the screen. I highlighted it for you, all right? Keep that in mind. Okay, so it says he, he would be called Savior in Hebrew. And we're going to take a look at that word, Savior, in Hebrew in just a minute, all right? Because he would save his people from their sins. That is, prevent them from failing and missing the true end and scope of life, which is, yeah, all right. So verse 22 says that this took place, that it might be fulfilled, which the Almighty has spoken through the prophet, the prophet Isaiah. Behold, says verse 23, Behold, a virgin shall conceive, shall become pregnant, and give birth to a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. Not Jesus, Emmanuel. Which translated means Yah with us. Alright? So let's take a look at this, this word here in the Hebrew, Savior, because Jesus... The name Jesus, as you see here, must mean Savior in Hebrew. But we know that the syllables Jesus do not mean sa Savior or salvation in the Hebrew. So we're going to take a look at the proper word for Savior in Hebrew, all right? Here it is. 3467 in the Hebrew using your Strong's Concordance. This is what it says, Yasha. To deliver, to save. They would call his name Yasha, not Jesus. Look, take a look at the word, Yasha. It's five letters like the name Jesus. All right? And this is what it means. So get it. This is not exhaustive concordance, all right? So we're going to take a look at two different concordances. So it means to deliver. It also means salvation, deliverer. 
You see that? Savior. There it is. That's a proper word. All right. Not the concocted name Jesus, which is made up of two syllables, G, which could mean proud to command an animal. So is the horse, commanding the horse. The horses of death. So that's what most are praying to. That's what most are worshiping, you know. Christ is a false uh, deity too. Krishna has to do with Christ. So Jesus Christ is a concocted name of pagan gods. The name God also is another short name for Lucifer's true name. Go read the Book of Enoch. And then uh, you also have uh, Lord, which means Baal. I mean, there's so many. Yeshua, which means may his name be blotted out. It's, it's, uh, that's what it means, but they hid it within that, those uh, words that make up that name, Yeshua. So that's another false name. So you just got to do your research. You'll find out that what I'm saying is indeed true. All right, so here's Yasha, right? Take a look at this. Save or save or savior. See that? It means salvation to give victory. It means victory or it means save or savior. All right? There it is, savior. Deliverer. And that's what it says in, in uh, Savior. That's what it says in the Amplified Bible. Let's go back. There it is, Savior. So if you read it in the original language, verse uh, 21 of Matthew 1 would read, She will bear his son, and you shall call his name Yasha, which is Hebrew, not Joshua, Yasha, which means Savior. See that? So, Yasha Emmanuel, the true name is right here, Emmanuel, Yah with us, all right, Savior, or Jesus, or Yasha, that's just describing what he was, he was going to do, it's like a, a title, one of his attributes, he's a Savior, but here's the prophesied name, the correct name according to scripture, Yasha Emmanuel. All right. So the name is not hitting anymore. There's no reason for people to. Oh, I don't get this. There's people. I see many Christians still refusing to bend to the proper name, and I, you know I give them links. I give them uh, all the evidence, and they just rebellious. They're sealed with the mark of the beast. They're gonna get destroyed. They're your enemies. Christ said. Oh, I should stop. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be using that. Another thing, I'm going to make a video about polishing our vocabulary. These false names for the Messiah, all these pagan deities' names and the false gods, they got to be removed out of our mouths. And, you know, I'm guilty of that, so I'm working on getting rid of some of these names. I'm used to calling them Christ a lot. But, you know, I, I have older videos where I called, might have called them Jesus Christ, God. But, you know, I figure leave them, right, to draw in the crowd that is still at the lower levels of understanding. But you gotta you gotta reach the highest levels to this, so I'll leave them for now. But anyways, yeah, there are many that just seal with the mark of the beast. They're gonna be destroyed. Yasha said that our enemies would be those of our own household. What household? Just our own house, our immediate family. Not only that, that's first level. Second level, meaning those that call themselves Christians, those that say they are your brother. I believe this. I believe that. They might believe a lot of stuff, but they're not gonna believe in the name. Revelation says that his people will have the seal of the Creator, the name of the Creator in their foreheads. Those that are going to be destroyed have the triple six, sus, Jesus. You know, the adversary went by many names during the, back in the day, the times of, uh, I don't know, Babylon, Egypt, Assyria, uh, 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 the second Babylon, the, the time of the Medes, the Grecians, and now Rome. You know, he just uses different names. He goes by different names, not the Heavenly Father or the Son. All right? I have enough videos on these false names, and I mention them in some of my videos. So there's no reason to be confused, you know. So that's what it means. There it is. In the Hebrew, 6005, Emmanuel. 
Yeah, yeah, not I'm manual. But like I said, they s another thing about the Strong's Concordance, don't think the Strong's Concordance is that, that reliable. I mean, it'll give you the truth, but they'll they, just like they did with the Bible, they mix things up. So you got to look for them here and there. You really got to dig deep, get to the root of the word and examine them carefully, you know? Because they'll tell you, okay, this is the name, uh, uh, Jehovah, but Jehovah means ruin or destruction. So they'll throw it in there, but they don't want you to get familiar with the words. But then the word will be like in another page or somewhere, you know, another number. So it's there, like I said. They, they can't leave us completely without nothing, but they'll make it very difficult for us to, to find the answers, you know. So, <laughs> so yeah, there it is. Look. I'll leave the links up. I don't want no excuses anymore. You know, I'm sick of hearing Christians still refer to him as Jesus. Look what Jesus means in Latin. Sus means pig. Uh, G means earth in Greek. So if you take the Greek and the Latin and you translate that name Jesus, Jesus, it means earth pig, land pig, you see? So, I mean... Come on, people, get it together. Okay, so there it is, Emmanuel, right? Yah with us. He typed name of Isaiah's son, Emmanuel. And it's prophesied right there in Isaiah 7.14. His name would be Emmanuel. So Yasha means Savior. Whenever you pray, pray to Yasha, which means Savior. Yasha Yamaniel, Savior, Yah, with us, who is with us. Not Jesus, not Lord, not God, not Yeshua, not Yahshua, not Yehovah. I mean, there's so many. You know, Christ has to do with Krishna. False deity. Lord means Baal. God is a short name of Lucifer's true name, Gadriel. Read the book of Enoch. Uh, what's the other one? Yeshua means may his name be blotted out. It's it's like a a, a name that is coded with though with that meaning. May his name be blotted out forever. You see, so they're attacking the name. They're attacking the name. It's all about the name. Don't let people deceive you. So. I mean, the Most High said that people would despise his name. You shall be hated up all for my name's sake, his true name. Most people love the name Jesus, then they do the true name. So what does that tell you? I mean, come on, man. Shh. All right, so I'll leave you with this before I close. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 13. Study this. Study all of it. Everything that I've shown you in this video. Test all things. Prove all things. And hold fast to what you know to be true. Exodus 23.13, Amplified Bible. And all I've said to you, take heed. Do not mention the name of other mighty ones, either in blessing or cursing. Don't say God bless. Don't say God damn. Don't be blessing people and the false names of these deities and don't curse them either. Do not let such speech be heard from your mouth. Don't pray to these names. Don't bless others in these names. Don't say God bless. Don't say God damn. Alright? Keep these names far from your lips because you're invoking these deities. All right? Be obedient. We got to polish our vocabulary when it comes to these names. All right? So until then, shalom. I love you. Take care. And may you be blessed by this truth that you're being shown. All right? Shalom.